Hello and welcome to this Android video course on beginning Android development. First I'm going to talk about what you're going to need uh, to embark on this course. You're going to need a PC or an Intel Mac or some computer running Windows, Mac OS X or Linux. Android, uh, the development environment for this is based on Eclipse which has and Java which has versions for all of these operating systems. So no matter what you're running, you will be able to follow along and uh, develop on your system. Now you'll need the Android ADT bundle, and this is available at developer.android.com, and there's a separate video in the series that tells you exactly how to install and set up uh, this ADT bundle. And then you'll need some familiarity with the Java programming language. Uh, you should have programmed in Java before. Uh, we really don't have time to cover that part of the uh, of the knowledge that you need to begin uh, Android development. So what are we going to cover? Well, quite a lot, actually. We're going to cover installing the ADT, the Android Development Tools environment, uh, with, uh, with some things that you'll need to know to set that environment up once you've just simply downloaded and installed it. We'll talk about activities, which are the basic unit of user interaction in an Android application, and their life cycle, uh, how they are created and started and resumed and destroyed and all of that, and how that fits together with other components. We'll talk about user interfaces. These are layouts and controls that users will interact with as they're working with an Android application and that you will use as you're developing a, 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 an Android application that makes sense to use. We'll talk about services and these are used to perform background tasks and are usually called from an activity. So that's why we talk about activities first. Uh, but we'll talk about services and also intents. And intents are the glue that kind of holds all of the pieces of an Android application together. And we'll see that an Android application is really not as much uh, of a single unit as it is a collection of pieces like activities and services and content providers that really kind of exist on an independent basis that are glued together by intents. <clears throat> we'll talk about SQLite and databases and providing data to your acti to activities and also to your application. And then we'll talk about accessing data with a content provider, which is a third uh, basic unit of Android development. So we have activities and services and content providers and content providers are used to access data within our own application and also to provide data to other applications. Then we'll kind of change, switch gears and talk about animation. Uh, animation of controls, of views and view subclasses and their properties. Uh, so we have view animation. We can also, we'll find out, be able to animate any property of any object, whether or not it's viewable. We'll talk about 2D graphics, which is drawing on a canvas, usually drawing on a bitmap within a canvas. We'll talk about how to present 2D graphics, um, how to use these in our activities. And then we'll talk a little bit, we'll give a short introduction to OpenGL ES. OpenGL ES uh, 1.1 and 2.0 are really uh, an entire course all to themselves. But OpenGL ES is a 3D graphics API for mobile devices put out by the Kronos Group. We'll talk about how to uh, look up information uh, pertaining to development with OpenGL ES, and we'll give you a good uh, kind of template uh, to pr provide you with a development uh, template uh, to start developing in OpenGL. <coughs> We'll talk about finding the location of the device, the latitude and the longitude, and displaying that for the user. And then we'll talk about other hardware sensors that the device has, such as uh, thermometers and accelerometers and gravimeters and things like that, that allow us to find out where the device is in space, its position, its orientation, and also uh, its acceleration at a given point in time. 
We'll wrap up our discussion with a discussion of playing audio and video, a very important topic in Android. And then also we'll talk about Google Play and publishing your app in the what used to be called the App Store, which is now called Google Play. So every unit <coughs> in this video series contains one or more discussion videos like this one, and they'll be formatted like this. And then one or more demo videos where I will uh, actually be in the code in the Android programming environment uh, and talking about uh, programming techniques. And then I'll also run the app uh, and make some possibly sometimes make some changes and then run it again. So you get a good idea of what each demo does. And also, more importantly, you get a sample piece of code that is really discussing what we have discussed in the discussion video. Of course, you're going to get all the source code for the demo videos. And I encourage you to look at the source code, open it up in the, in the development tools, and play with it, and change it, and don't be afraid to break it, uh, because this is how you learn. Uh, look at the source code, write your own source code, uh, make the uh, make the mistakes and learn from them. Uh, that's, uh, that's a very powerful technique for learning how to program. And then also, of course, quizzes to test your knowledge as you go along. So welcome to the course, and let's get started. <laughs>